This is section 2-3, the remainder and factor theorems. Example 1, use long division to factor polynomials. We're going to factor this. We're going to completely factor this polynomial, uh, completely using long division if x minus 3 is a factor. We're going to start out with, uh, with division, long division. We have x minus 3. We're going to divide that into 6x to the third minus 25x squared plus 18x plus 9. And it, in order to do long division, we only look at the leading terms. So what do we take times x to get 6x to the third? Well, we multiply by 6x squared. So we have 6x to the third, 6x squared times x, that gives us 6x to the third. And then we'll multiply these two together, and we get negative 18x squared. Now we're going to subtract, always subtract in long division. Negative 25 minus negative 18 is 7, so 7x squared. It's actually negative 7x squared. And then we have plus 18x. So what do we multiply uh, times uh, x to get negative 7x squared? Well, negative 7x. So we have negative 7x squared. And then negative 7x times negative 3 is plus 21x. Now we always subtract in long division, and 18 minus 21 is negative 3x, and then we bring down the plus 9. Well, what do we take times x to get negative 3x? We multiply by negative 3. So negative 3 times x, that gives you the negative 3x. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. And then when we subtract, we get 0. Now we knew we, that was going to be a 0 because we were told x minus 3 is a factor. If it's a factor, the remainder should always be 0. Now we just have to factor uh, what remains. Uh, so we have how about uh, 3x and 2x. That, that gives you 6x squared. And then I need to get a 7 out of this. So how about uh, minus 3 over here and plus 1, factors of negative 3. So we have 3x plus 1 uh, times 2x minus 3 times x minus 3. And there we have uh, this polynomial completely factored. Divide by 3x plus 2. So we're going to take 3x plus 2, 2, and we're going to divide that into 9x to the third minus x minus 3. But we're missing an x squared. And we want to represent all the powers starting with the highest and uh, you know going down. So we have the highest is uh, x to the third, so we have plus 0x squared, and then minus x, and then minus 3. So we have the highest power all the way on down represented with at least a 0. Well now we look at the leading terms. What do you take times 3x to get 9x to the third? Uh, 3x squared. So then 3x squared times 3x, that's 9x to the third. And then 3x squared times 2 is going to be plus 6 x squared. And now we have this x squared to match up with the 6x squared. And we always minus in long division. So minus 6x squared. And I need to bring down the minus x. Well, we look at the leading term. What do we take times 3x to get negative 6x squared? Minus 2x. So we have negative 6x squared. We've done the multiplication. And then negative 2x times 2 is going to be negative 4 x. And of course, again, we're going to subtract. So negative 1 minus negative 4 is 3x. And then we bring down the minus 3. Well, what do we take times 3x to get 3x? We multiply by 1. So we have 3x plus 2. And we always subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have a remainder of 1. The answer is 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, and then plus 1, here's the fractional part, 1 over 3x plus 2, which is 1 over 3x plus 2. Divide by polynomial of degree 2 or higher, so we're going to divide by an x squared here. We have x squared minus 2x, and then plus 7. Now if this, if this wasn't here, this 2x, we would put if that didn't exist right there, if it was just x squared plus 7, we would put a 0x here. So we've got to represent all the powers in, uh, in this part, and we have to represent all the powers uh, under the little divide sign. So we have uh, 2x to the fourth minus 4x to the third plus 13x, that should be a 13, x squared plus 3x and then uh, minus 11. So 
four, three, two, one, zero. All the powers are represented. Well, we always look at the leading term. What do we take times x squared to get 2x to the fourth? We multiply by 2x squared. So we have 2x to the fourth. And then 2x squared times negative 2x is negative 4x to the third. And then 2 times 7 gives us the plus 14x squared. So that should be a 4. And then uh, again, we always subtract. So these go away, these go to zero. So 13 minus 14 is negative x squared. And then we have plus 3x minus 11. We gotta take these three at a time because there's three terms over here. Now what do we take times x squared to get negative x squared? Well, it's gonna be negative one. We have negative x squared squared plus 2x and then minus seven. And then when we subtract, three minus two is one, so we have x. Negative 11 minus negative 7, that's going to give us uh, not a plus 4, but a minus 4. So the answer is 2x squared minus 1, and then plus x minus 4 all over, so x minus 4 over this right here, over this quadratic. So x squared minus 2x plus 7. Divide using synthetic division. Uh, when we divide by a linear, by x plus 2, we can actually divide synthetically. Now negative 2 makes this 0. So we're going to put negative 2 in the box over here. And then we're going to write uh, all of the coefficients starting with the highest power, working our way all the way down to a power of 0. So we have a power of 4 here. Coefficient is 2. We don't have an x to the third. So we're going to write 0 for x to the third. Then negative 5. Then 5 and then negative two, so we have the powers of four, three, two, one, zero. And that's actually a five, it kind of looks like a six. The, the first step in synthetic division is bring the first number down, so bring it straight down. Now it's multiply and add. So negative two times two is negative four, and we add, that's negative four. Then we take negative two times negative four, that's eight, remember that's a five. And this is going to be a 3. So negative 2 times 3, that's negative 6. And we have negative 1. And then negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. And we have a remainder of 0. So now we started with a power of 4, and now we have a power of 3. Really, you can start here. This is the constant. This would be the x to the first. This is the coefficient for x squared, and this is x to the third. So we have 2x to the third minus 4x squared plus 3x and then minus one, and we have a remainder of zero. So what if we have two x minus three? We need to find out what makes this equal, what makes this zero, and three halves makes this zero. So now we're plugging three halves into the box. And we have 10, 10, negative 13, five, and negative 14. So we have the power three, two, one, zero. First step in synthetic division is to bring the first number down, that's 10. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 times 3, that's 15. And then we have 2. The 2's are going to cancel out, and we have a 3 here. That makes 8, so it's always multiply and then add. Uh, 8 times 3 halves is 12, and now we have a remainder of negative 2. So here's the constant, here's the x, here's the x squared. So we have 10, 10 x squared plus 2x plus 8 and then we could do either plus a negative or we can just do minus 2 over what we divided by which is 2x minus 3. Use the factor theorem. Use the factor theorem to determine if the binomials, uh, let's go back up here. Example 6, use the factor theorem. Use the factor theorem to determine if the binomials given are factors of f of x. Use the binomials that are factors to write a factored form of f of x. So let's do this synthetically. Let's plug negative 1 into the box. Negative 1, so we have 4, 21, 25, 25, negative 5, 3. It's not really cooperating with me today. So we bring the first number down. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And we have 17, that becomes 17, because we multiply, actually, negative 17. Uh, then add, that's going to be 8, negative 8, and then negative uh, 13. Negative 1 times negative 13 is 13, 13. 
and then that's going, the remainder is going to be 16. Well, in order to be a factor, this remainder has to be 0. So x minus 1, x minus 1 is not a factor because the remainder is not 0. And we're using the, the remainder theorem. Let's plug in negative 3 into the box. We have negative 3 in here. And we have 4, 21, 25, 25. Uh, we got negative 5. And then we have 3. Let's bring the first number down. That's 4. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And we have 9. Then negative 27. That's going to be a negative 2. And then we have 6 which is 1 and negative 3 and that is going to be 0. So we have, uh, we're going to use the factored theorem, use the binomials that are factors to write a factored form and so we have uh, x plus 3 times, x plus 3 times, 4x to the third plus 9x squared minus 2x and then plus 1.